friends, welcome back for another awesome workout. Today we are going to start with the PJ Mask warm up. So, as you saw before, we have three categories of characters we're working with today. And uh, we have, so we have three different types of workouts per character. And the way we're going to figure out how many we're going to do is by rolling our die and adding them up. So, we're going to start with Catboy, and we're going to do his first, which is Frog Jump. So I'm going to roll these. We've got a five and a one. So we are doing six total Frog Jumps for Catboy. Here we go. So for a Frog Jump, we're going to start on our feet. We're going to lower down. We're going to jump up. We're going to try to reach the ceiling, and then we're going to jump down and land on our feet again. Here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, and six. Awesome. Next, we're gonna roll again. And this time we're gonna roll for Cat Boy Rock Jump. All right. We've got a six and a two. Count those up for me. Eight, that's right, great job. So we are gonna do eight broad jumps. Broad jumps, again, starting on our feet, landing on our feet, but instead of landing in the same spot, we're gonna to try to land farther away from where we start. So we're gonna start here, and we're just gonna jump as far as you can while still landing on your feet. We've got eight of them. Here we go. One, two, three, Four, five, six, can you go a little farther? Seven, a little farther, and eight. Great job. Next, for Catholic, our bunny hops. So for bunny hops, because they're a smaller movement, we are going to double the number we get. And I'll show you how we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna roll, and we, Got a five and a four. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do two fives and two fours. So five plus five is 10, plus four is 14, plus another four is 18. So we are going to do 18 bunny hops. We're gonna sit like this and we're just gonna do small, Bunny hop for 18. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Awesome. All right, next up we've got Gecko. And first for Gecko and his warm-up is gonna be jumping jacks. So before I roll, let's just remember the basic movements of a jumping jack. We're gonna start with our feet together and we're just going to practice our feet before we add in the arms so we're going together apart together apart we don't want to go too far apart because when you're here it's really hard to oh, get your legs back together so apart and together now when this time we're going to add in our arms when our legs go apart our arms go apart we call this big x and then we go to little i big x little i so for this, we're going to roll. And we've gotten these two numbers. And we're gonna do the same thing we did with the bunny hop. So we're gonna add this twice and this twice. So we've got a six and a four. Go ahead and add those up for me. 10, perfect. And so if we do six plus six, that's 12. Plus four, that's 16 plus another four, that's 20. We are going to do 20 jump jacks. I know you can do this. So, here we go. Ready, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Beautifully done. 
Next up, our side hops. So we are going to jump from side shoop, to side shoop. My legs are together and I'm landing on my feet. All right, here we go. Okay, we've got a three and a five. Go ahead and add those up for me. Eight, great job. So for this, every time we jump back to this side is one. So if I go here, that's half. And I go back here, that's one. So we're gonna do eight full hops. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome. And last, we are gonna hit the deck. So if you take class with me, you know hit the deck. It's one of my favorite moves because it just gets a lot of fun energy out and we get to go to the ground. So when I say hit the deck, we're gonna put our bellies down on the ground. And come back up. Here we go. Let's see how many we've got to do. All right, look at that. We've got a big three and a little three. I'll let you count those up. Six, great job. So we are gonna do, uh, hit the deck six times, uh, but you will wait for me to, to go down. So we will stand up in a 10 chip. And when I say hit the deck, we will hit the deck. Hit the deck. Good, that's one. Hit the deck. Two. Hit the deck. Three. Hit the deck. Four. Hit the deck. We got one more. Here we go. Hit the deck. Okay, and for our last superhero warm up. Uh, character is Owlette, and we know Owlette has those big, really strong wings. So the first thing we're going to do is arm circles. So we'll do one at a time, and it'll look like this. And then we'll switch, and it'll look like that. If you're a boxer and you've boxed with us before, you can add in a little boxer's bounce just to keep your heart rate up a little bit. So, let's see what we've got. All right, we've got a big four and a little three. Let's count that up. Seven, perfect. So we're gonna do seven arm circles for each arm. I'm gonna start with my right arm back. I'm gonna put my left arm over my heart. I'm gonna get into my boxer's hands. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And other hand back, other hand over your heart. Get into your boxer's belt. And one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. Hopefully you're feeling loose in your arms. Next up we've got front kicks. All right. We've got big six, little two, that's eight. So we are gonna do eight kicks on each leg. So we are gonna start and do all of our right leg first. We're just gonna kick front. All right, you can either do the front kick like a fireman, or you can just do a front kick like Frankenstein. Either one works. We're gonna start with the right leg. I'm gonna do Frankenstein kicks. Here we go. Uh, for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Shake it out. And the left side, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Awesome, now for our last one, we're gonna do star jumps. So we're gonna start on our feet, we're gonna get to a standing little ball, and we're gonna jump up and land back in that little ball with our feet on the ground. Here we go. We got big one, little four. Let me count the, let you count those up really quick. 
and that's five. We are going to double. So we are gonna do one two times, so that's two, plus four is six, plus another four is 10. We are doing 10 total today. All right, here we go. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Awesome job. That's it for the warm up. Let's get ready for our next part. I know that most of you love Catboy. So our next activity is going to be about Catboy. And I know it's all about running, and we always are running because Catboy is super fast, just like um, our friend the Flash. But did you know that Catboy is afraid of water? He's a cat. Most cats are afraid of water. Um, so today we're going to play a game where I have turned these blue bands into water bands. And your job as Catboy is to duck and dodge and get away so that you don't get hit by the water bands. All right, so just as a practice real quick, this is how it's gonna go. I'm gonna shoot towards you, and you have to duck. You ready? Okay, here we go. All right, don't let it hit you. It might go up, it might go to the side, it might go down. You never know where the water bands are gonna come. Woo, did I get you? All right, here we go. All right, you might need to jump out of the way for this one. Boom. Here we go. Whoa, did I get you on that one? A few more. Here we go. We got two more bands left. Awesome, I hope you didn't get hit by too many water bands. Next up, we are gonna do some fun games with Gecko. And one of the things um, I wanna remind you guys about Gecko is that he can scale mountains. So we don't all have rock climbing walls or walls that we can climb at home. So we're gonna play a different game. This game is going to be, um, our main movement is gonna be the mountain climber. So if you've never done it before, you're gonna get on your hands and knees, and then you're gonna get on your feet. And we are gonna drive one knee up to our arms and then switch, like we're climbing up a mountain. So this will be our main mover. Then we will either have to jump over things or duck and roll out of the way. All right, so I'll give you an example. So here we go, and we're gonna start climbing. Start climbing. Here comes a big rock. Jump. Good. Keep climbing. Here comes a boulder. Drop and roll. And roll back. All right. Up. And not climb. Drop and roll. Up. And climb. Jump. Climb. Keep climbing. All right, keep going, you can do it. Keep climbing. And here comes a boulder, got to duck and roll, duck and roll. Good job, all right, back up. Let's get climbing, climb. Let's see your knees move really, really fast. Come on, you can do it, jump. And keep climbing, keep climbing. You're almost at the top, you're almost at the top of that mountain. Go, go, go. All right, here comes a boulder, drop and roll, drop and roll. Awesome, get back up, get back and climb, climb that mountain, climb it, come on, and jump. Here goes again, jump again. All right, a bit, another one, another big boulder's coming, you better duck and roll, duck, get down and roll. Good, get back to climbing, we got it, we're almost there. A couple more, jump. All right, here comes another, our last boulder, duck and roll. All right, back to climbing, back to climbing, here we go, and jump, jump. All right, now walk your feet to your hands, and we're standing all the way up. Great job, I hope you've made it to the top of your mountain. All right, for all of my Owlette friends, Owlette's up next, and what we love about Owlette are her wings, and she can fly, right? So, we are going to get on our bellies, and we are gonna fly. 
So, first part of the game is just going to be doing our Superman, getting our feet and our legs off the ground, okay? So extend your arms, reach them towards me. I can almost touch them. All right, and here we go. We're gonna do five Superman slow up and slow down, okay? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Great. Now this time, before our game, we're gonna go up, we're gonna flap our wings, and then come down. Five of them. Ready? Up and flap. One, two, three, four, five. Good. I hope your wings are feeling energized and ready to go. Now for this part, we are gonna be owlet and we're gonna fly, but then the wind's gonna come. We are going to have to try to keep true but if there's a big one, we might roll over and have to get back to our regular position. All right, take a deep breath. Lay on your belly, hands are reaching towards me and start to fly. Okay, the wind's coming. It's just a little wind. We're just rocking back and forth. Uh-oh, the wind's getting heavier. It's getting stronger. We're not, it's not too strong yet. Oh my gosh, here we go. It's getting really strong. It's gonna, it might knock us over. Ah, oh, it's knocking us over. Roll. Oh, and get back to the beginning. Get back to your center. Oh, all right. And nap time. Just kidding. Arms out straight. Here we go. Up. And the wind's blowing. It's a level one. Just a nice level one. Uh oh, level two. It's getting bigger. And level three. Woo. We're rolling all over. Level three, back to the center, and nap time. All right, here we go. Ready, arms up. Here comes the wind. Shoot, level two, here we go. Level two, and level three, roll it over. Roll it back over, all the way, level three, keep going. Back and forth, back and forth. Oh, it's slowing down to a level two. Level two, a level one, and a nap time. Stick around for another game. Right, so for our gecko game, I love that gecko is camouflage. I think that's really cool. And the thing about camouflage is that you need to remember that someone who's camouflage isn't 100% hidden. Right? They're not fully hidden, they're mostly hidden. So we are gonna play a game, um, and you'll need somebody else to play this with, whether it's mom, brother and sister, dad, um, or if you wanna set, uh, do a virtual game, you can do that too, where you're on uh, FaceTime or Zoom with someone else in your family or your friends. So camouflage is hiding a color that's close to it, but you can still maybe see what's going on. So let's start with a really easy one. So, if I am going to play this game, I'm gonna find one of my toys that is um, a color that matches something else that I have at home that's the same or a very similar color. So this is one of my fa favorites, Pinchy, the red crab, okay? And we happen to have just a red toy, okay? So if I was playing this game at home, I would take Pinchy, I would stick Pinchy in here, Okay, so you can notice he's not fully hidden, right? You can see his little, his little claws right here. He's not fully hidden. But it's hard to see him far away because he's camouflaged, okay? So this is very hard. This is a very hard level, okay? So that's Pinchy. We've got a couple other options. We've got, um, obviously at home you guys are gonna have different things. Books are gonna be really good and your other toys are gonna to be good. I happen to have a boxing glove that's black, silver, and yellow, okay? And I happen to have a pterodactyl that's mostly yellow. See, he's got other colors on him too. So I would, if I put this in home, I would take my pterodactyl and I would either, you can put him kind of right here, 
can't see him, right? He's not hidden though. His body's right here. He just seems hidden because he's it's a, a good camouflage, right? Um, you could do that. If you wanted to make it even trickier, you could maybe do something where he's a little bit more in. Just remember, you don't want him fully hidden. Okay, next we've got, uh, I've got a black yoga block, okay? And then I've got my gorilla. And he is totally one color, he's all black, okay? So I'm not gonna just hide him right behind. I'm also not going to put him right on top. What you could do, especially if there's something dark in the background, uh, what I'm gonna do for this guy is I'm just gonna have him peek out. If you can see, he's right here. And I'm just gonna have him peeking one paw out. Okay, so he's not fully hidden. Uh, this is also kind of a fun idea. Um, you could even have him laying down, so it's a little bit harder to see. Okay, so that's color on color, the same color. And then I have another one that um, I was lucky to find. We happen to have a bag full of orange and white balls. So for this one, I'm gonna take my sparkly goldfish, who I love, one of my favorite little guys, and I'm just gonna put them right here. See, this is a great example of camouflage because he's very clearly there, but if it's far away, it might not be easy to see. And you can see his eyes really clearly, so even a harder way to do this would be putting him sideways. Uh, once again, not fully hidden, okay? So not fully hidden, but that's a little bit harder to see because the, the eyes were very obvious, right? your favorite toys go find your toys that have uh, something else in your house that is a similar color and get to camouflaging